All right, it's like 5 p.m. I'm getting a very late start today. Um, I had one of those days yesterday where I just like laid around and did absolutely nothing. Like literally, I, I made, I showered because we were supposed to go to my mom's and then my sister canceled so then we didn't go anywhere. Um, because we were gonna go play Catan. Has anybody ever played Catan? I had never heard of this game until like a few weeks ago when my sister introduced me to it and like now I want to play all the time. Like Catan is such a fun board game if you've never played it. it you need like three plus players to make it like really fun but we play with like four usually. Um, five or six if we're with like my mom. But anyway, she canceled so I showered yesterday and then I don't know if it was like the weather or what but I was like friggin exhausted. So I did nothing yesterday. I made lunch and then I just laid around all day. Today I had some energy. I like cleaned my house. I cooked lunch again, showered, and I put makeup on so I could film <laughs> this plus another video after this. But like I have some more energy today, but just like yesterday was one of those days where I just like, I wanted to like lay down and die. Anyway, it's not really relevant to anything. Okay, so uh, a couple of weeks ago in my last This Just In, I told you guys that In Beauty Project had sent me um, all of their lip glazes, even though I already had them. <laughs> I was planning on doing a lip swatch with them because I had bought one of their lip glazes um, when I saw it come out, uh, the extra glaze one. Um, that was when I was first like excited or like interested in their lip glazes. I don't know that I'd never like paid attention to them before that much, but um, either way, I tried their extra glaze lip glaze. I was obsessed with the formula and then I bought all of the rest of them and they had recently launched a new flavor because they're all sort of like flavors. They don't have diff they, they don't have the same scents. So it's not like the same across the board like with most other, you know, sort of like lip gloss formulas like Tower 28. I think they all pretty much have the same scent. Fit Glow, they're all the same scent. Um, these are all different flavors. So I was obsessed with the Extra Glaze formula and color. I really wanted to try the rest, so I'd bought them all. Um, then they sent me them all in a PR mailer um, because they had launched the new one, Cotton Candy. And so it had come with this like cute cotton candy. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm gonna swatch them all. I actually haven't worn any of the other ones except for Extra Glaze because I am so, 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 so obsessed with Extra Glaze that I literally have not worn any of the other ones. Oh, I love it. Cause this is like the kind of thing that I love, right? It's like, like a neutral with a sparkle. Love it. Um, this is not an In Beauty Project lip glaze. I am testing Merit Makeup, which you should either see later this week or next week. Um, but yeah, I've been testing the Merit Makeup. That's all I've been wearing. So this is a Merit lip gloss right now, but we're gonna take that off so we can swatch all of the In Beauty Project ones. Okay, so we're gonna go in order. So we're gonna start with number one. They have one through four and then they have extra glaze. So we're gonna start with number one, which is their candy apple. Glaze number one. So it's, as you can imagine, candy apple. Candy apple color. And it does smell, oh my God, it smells so much like candy apple. So all of these I'm pretty sure are gonna be pretty sheer. So this one is like a sheer, a sheer red color. I love the doe foot on these if you've never seen them, like how huge it is. It's humongous. But I love it. I cannot even remember the last time I had a candy apple. I must have been like, I don't know, 12 or something. Those aren't something that I ate a ton. All right, so this is candy apple, which it basically, it's a very, very sheer red. Just gives you sort of just like a, I don't know, like just flushed color to the lips. It barely deposits really like any color, which I kind of like about these because most of the time when I wear gloss, I just want to wear something that's like really sheer. I don't want something that's like super opaque that I'm gonna have to worry about is like moving all over my face or it's not like in my lip lines correctly. You know, these sheer ones, if they're not like 100% clean, cleanly applied, you really can't tell. So that one is number one, candy apple. Can you see? Pugsley's little legs over there. 
<laughs> He's sleeping. Sleeping off camera. I love the formula of these two. They are super moisturizing, but they're not, they're not sticky, they're thick. They're not as like cushiony as I would say like the Fit Glow lip serums are, if you are familiar with those. I'm assuming that if you are, you know, a watcher of my channel, <laughs> you are familiar with those, but maybe you're just here for the In Beauty Project lip glosses. Um, they're very thick. I don't know that I would call them, maybe they're sort of cushiony, but they're like not as cushiony as the Fit Glow serums, but I love that they're not sticky. You know, they're not tacky. They're just super nourishing, super moisturizing. Absolutely love the formula. I love how sheer it is. So again, this is candy apple and we are gonna get on with number two. Okay, so number two is very jam which is more of a berry <laughs> color, as you can imagine. Not exactly like grape jam, maybe like a raspberry jam. So it's like a sheer, sheer berry color. And it does, it just smells, smells like berries. Mmm. Okay, so there is that. Just again, it just gives sort of like a slight purpley, purpley pinky tint to the lips. Not like super opaque. It actually kind of matches with my, um, <laughs> my pink sweater and like my pink cheeks today. Like this is a good one. Mm, and they are just so, I love the formula of these. I just love the way they make my lips feel. They're very thick, again, like I said, and like they don't wear off, you know, super quickly either. So you, they feel nourished and like moisturized for hours. But I'm like, I'm obsessively putting this stuff on sometimes because I just love, I love the formula of it. It just feels really great. And if you love like a sheer, sheer berry color, berry jam number two, gonna be for you. <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Anyway, that is the second one. Berry Jam. Okay, so the third one is Frosé, which is much more different than the first two. This one is like a frosty pink. And I'm guessing Frosé is some sort of alcoholic drink, since that's what the, uh, the picture is of there, it's like a, like a drink, but I've never had this drink. It's some sort of like tropical, it's like hard to put my, hard to put my finger on exactly. Okay, I was slightly interrupted, so I don't really know what I was saying, but this one just looks clear, it just has like a tiny bit of like a pink shimmer. So again, it's just gonna be a very sheer, oh, I think I was, was I trying to figure out what the scent of this was? I don't know, it's like fruity. Some sort of like tropical fruity thing. It's very pleasant. So this one is Frosé. It's just a sheer with like the tiniest pink shimmer. It just barely looks like anything. But that one is also very pretty. My lips just feel very soft and plump and like juicy. So that one is Frosé. That's the number three. So then the number four is the one that was just released. This one is the cotton candy one, which it smells like cotton candy. And this one is just clear. You're, yeah, it's just, it's just clear. <laughs> this literally looks like um, nothing. So if you want, like it looks sort of like pink, in the tube, but really, you know, once you get the swatch on, it pretty much looks like nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna take off Rosé, and then we're gonna put on cat hair everywhere, cotton candy. Which is just like a nice clear glaze. I don't know, can you even determine if there was a difference between this one and the last one? Like on the back of my hand, I can see like the tiniest pink shimmer, you know, in between this one and this one. But this looks like 
just like nice glazy lips. God, I love these things so much. Okay, so since this is the cotton candy one and they sent me some cotton candy, should we do a little cotton candy taste test <laughs> before we do the, um, the extra glaze one, which you guys have seen. I've worn extra glaze a ton since I bought it. So this one is a uh, Bon Poof uh, cotton candy. In case you feel like I'm um, opening that up. So it's probably a bad idea, actually. I think I might have a cavity. A tooth on this side of my mouth has been hurting pretty badly lately, and I, ha I haven't been to the dentist in quite some time. You know, since I had Oliver, I think I've only been to the dentist like <laughs> once, maybe. I used to go every six months, but then like you become a mom and you know, your whole world just like, you know, <laughs> it becomes about your kid and then you forget. I need to make this appointment. So this is pretty good. It's been so long since I've had cotton candy. It's crazy how it just like melts immediately in your mouth. It just like turns into nothing. It's just gone. Let's take a bigger bite and see how long it takes. Eh, it's just gone. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. That was a cute little thing that they sent, you know, in that little PR mailer. All right, so lastly, and the one that I'm gonna leave on, this one is extra glaze. So it's not like in their numbered section, they had one through four and then they have extra glaze. And this one, as you can see, it's sort of like a neutral color with like a ton of shimmer. I'm wondering how different it's gonna look. It's just like clear. It's just like clear with like sparkles in it. You know, if you really want really sheer, this it's this one down here. Can I get it to focus? Not really. Um, you know, you could, you could sort of see the sparkle in it. Whereas like this one, there's no sparkle. That one, there's some like pink sparkle. This one is just like sort of like multicolored sparkle, I guess. It's like a different shimmer than the Frosé one. So if you really like, you know, sheer lip products, you want something super glossy, that's gonna make your lips feel hydrated and plump and soft and smooth. Oh, God, I love these. So yeah, this one is extra glaze, which is my favorite one. But now trying them all on and seeing like really how similar they are, I definitely think I'll be playing with, you know, some of these other ones quite a bit um, because they're all pretty sheer. There's just slight variation of like tint to them. Plus it smells like donuts, right? Oh, it smells like donuts. I love donuts. So good. I love this one too. The cap on this one is like extra sparkly where there was no <laughs> sparkly cap on any of the other ones. So that is the five In Beauty Project lip glazes. I absolutely love this formula. If you're looking for an affordable lip gloss, you know, I, I talk about Fit Glow all the time, um, but they are a really expensive formula and not everyone can afford $42, you know, lip serums, right? And they have a ton of shades. I've got them all and they're all super beautiful and I, I love them and I recommend them all the time, but not everybody can afford that, right? And especially if you want, you know, more shades of something or you want multiples. Um, in Beauty Projects are really, really affordable. They're vegan where the Fick Low Beauty ones are not. Um, I really love the formula. They, they're super like plump and hydrating and they make my lips feel great. I just, I love the formula of these. I mean, like obviously you're not gonna get like an opaque shade like you would in Fit Glow or some other different lip serums, but if you really just like, you know, sheer gloss, if you just want something simple that's gonna like make your lips feel great, um, you know, for a, an affordable price, I would, you know, try one of these out. You can get them at Credo, you can get them at In Beauty Project. I'm not actually sure where else you can get them. Um, if I can, you know, if I find any other places, I'll link them below, but I usually either link to Credo or In Beauty Project. Um, I've bought them, all from In Beauty Project. I don't think I bought any from Credo, but I know that some people shop at Credo, so I do like to recommend, you know, going to Credo and checking them out in case you're interested. Um, you know, I haven't tried any of the In Beauty Project skincare except for their Electrify, you know, under eye masks. I am sort of interested in some of their other skincare products. 
you know, maybe I'll try them out here at some point, but you know, I have so much skincare. <laughs> um, but I really love the lip glazes. I hope to see more shades come out in the future. I kind of hope that they get into like other makeup products. Like I'd love to see them do cream blushes or highlighters or something. I don't know. Not that that's like really a necessary thing that like people need because there's like a ton of that out there. But um, I always want to see like my favorite you know, brands that do something that I love, you know, delve into other stuff. So like, you know, get into cream, cream products and stuff like that. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that it was helpful if you have been looking at the In Beauty product lip gazes, glazes, <laughs> and you wanted to see um, how they looked on a person. Um, if you wanted to see all the shades on one person, because I've only shown you guys the one shade so far. So hope that you guys liked this. Hope that it was helpful. I'll leave everything linked below and I need to go wash off my glazy hand because um, I'm now getting lip glaze everywhere. So <laughs> thank you guys for being here. I will see you in my next one. Bye.